Hey there gamers, it's Nate Magic Tricks here from Envision Community, and today we're going to review I Am Set Sooner. Coming from the Square Enix Collective Games, I Am Set Sooner is a love letter to years past, paying homage to such games as Corona Trigger, the Tales of series, and Final Fantasy. You follow Endir, a mercenary for hire, but on his most recent mission to kill the sacrifice. But with any hero, you decide at the last minute to not do that. Uh, or you kind of get shot with magic. After that little debacle, you join the Sacrifice's guard, helping the Sacrifice travel across the landscapes and seas combined, eventually reaching the last lands to give her life to the planet to stop the monsters that plague it. It isn't too original, but what Setsuna does well is the delivery of said story, on top of the musical score that accompanies it. You won't be surprised too much by the twists, as if you've played any RPG in the last 20 years, you'll see it all coming a mile away. The main story will last you just under 20 hours. My first run took me only 16, and that was with some extra time thrown in just for some grinding and chest hunting. That's not to say there isn't some side stuff besides that, but it doesn't really add much to the whole experience, in my opinion. Now, onto the gameplay. Setsuna has a mix of Grandia and Chrono Trigger for combat. Uh, you wait for your ATP gauge to fill up before attacking or using magic and techniques. If you wait longer, however, you will fill up a SP gauge. Uh, this will also increase when you take or deal damage. The SP gauge is this game's version of uh, limit breaks or special attacks, adding more damage, status effects or other type of bonuses to your actions. You can upgrade weapons, unlock new techniques, and all that normal RPG jazz that some of it does feel a bit underdeveloped in places. Difficulty is on a rather constant climb with bosses always proving to be a challenge no matter how much grinding time you spend. All in all, I Am Setsuna is a beautiful game, but it takes a bit too much from other games. A love letter turned stalker, with over 10 games it takes mechanics or ideas from. If you're a gamer over 20, you might feel that this game is a bit of an insult as it pulls too much on nostalgia. If you're under that age gap and haven't played the RPGs of the past, Japanese or not, you will find so much more to love about Setsuna. The snow can get quite tiresome at points, being pretty much the only weather you'll see. You can walk through it, which is nice, but again, it's just snow after snow. The musical score kind of goes hand in hand with this, a soul piano is the only instrument you're going to hear, but again, it delivers what it can brilliantly. Pushing aside cliches and some minor annoyances, I Am Setsuna is a fun game, if a tad short. There is a great game here, you just have to be willing to filter through some of the grunge to get to it. I Am Setsuna gets an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more gaming videos and reviews. Check out the link in the description or on screen right now for my written version of this review. It covers more of the game itself, as well as goes into more depth. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.